I've noticed when spending time in the um, Amazon among people who use all sorts of plant medicines, and some of them are physical medicines and some are spiritual, and some aren't, sci aren't psychedelics, but there are other kinds of spiritual medicines. I've noticed um, with people in the Amazon that they're very interested in dreams, too. And many times I've been asked when I wake up in the morning, what did you dream about? And to have just over morning coffee, to have three people sitting around specifically analyzing your dream and then relating it to something that has happened or something that might happen, or that plant you walked by, or suggesting that you put a plant under your, a leaf under your pillow to sleep and dream and see how that changes your dreams. That that, these are people who, who use ayahuasca and who believe in, a, you know, a, a very populated magical reality and dreaming is like the daily uh, set of tiny windows that we can look through. So it seems to me related, and perhaps even the DMT in the brain that has something to do perhaps with dreaming, is, is related and recognized in those cultures. It's another realm of the invisible that we in this culture don't really use. We don't remember our dreams, we don't share them, we don't take them seriously, we have insipid little analyses of them. It's not like it's a part of our life that we're walking in that's as informative about what's really true as this life that we're walking in.